Hello, chess aficionados. So, I uh, typed into YouTube, I beat Mittens, and Mittens so, you know, uh, great nowadays that uh, co this comes up. So, I, I clicked on the first one, it's by Gotham Chess, and uh, you think, you know, curiosity is... Uh, uh, it's like curiosity killed the cat, or cats have a night li nine lives, right? Well, Mr. L Levy uh, actually did not beat Mittens. You would think in the title that you uh, have uh, that to say, but actually it's a, it's a half-truth, because he beat Mittens with the help of Stockfish. And it's clear that, you know, maybe it's clickbait, but just want to make it clear to everybody that when I ask a high-level FIDE champion to play against Mittens, a human against this computer, it stopped. It stopped playing when it knew that the human was winning. And it gave me the message uh, that I have in a separate video that I will show to you. So, just letting you know, this is where I start to think that when we as humans are needing the assistance of artificial intelligence to beat another artificial intelligence, we, do, we cannot just say, I beat mittens. That's, that's a f half a sentence. I beat mittens with the help of Stockfish, which is AI, which is a computer program, which is not human. So you cannot say you beat mittens as a human. No, you cannot. It doesn't compute with me. And so uh, it's, it's like a, a half a truth is a good example of a half a truth is a full lie because you don't finish the full sentence. So I don't agree. Levy, I'm sorry you did not beat mittens because you had to use stockfish to help you do it. And that brings me to something that's going on in the world. Uh, a lot of people, you know, that are, are tech, technically like you have a four cylinder car and you need and you want to go much longer like a six cylinder car would sure maybe a four cylinder the cylinder car can keep up with a six cylinder for some time but it's not gonna last as long as a six cylinder for example so what do we need to do we gotta ramp it up a bit and have to introduce ai and that seems that what alan musk is wanting to do can you believe like these two websites basically the same article i'll go to the guardian here Musk says brain chip to begin human trial soon and plans to get one himself. You know, and they kind of want to tell the public, oh, it's for people with disabilities and people that were blind. Isn't somebody that was blind now won't be blind? Technically, I won't, don't know how they were able to do this. Maybe stimulate, stimulate part of the brain somehow. But basically, when we're using uh, Stockfish to be able to go against another computer, we're, we're kind of, it's a symbi symbiosis between human and, with assistance of artificial intelligence. Imagine if they put this brain chip in your head and you're just not going to have to work too hard to be able to beat uh, another human. I mean, this is to me kind of uh, very sad. It is very sad because we cannot just sit idly by and think that it's okay to have AI do so many things for us. We're not going to be able to stretch our brains. Uh, but when you put in the fact that the blind can see, right? And that, that the people that with disabilities are going to, when you put that kind of twist, you know, but uh, that looks different, right? But when you see it, when you want to enhance your abilities to be able to do something that other people, uh, you know, uh, are able to do by themselves with just the human, uh, aspect and the creators of chess.com stop the computer program and make funny noises and I'm, I will I will link the video to what it said what uh, Mittens said to this high level FIDE player and stop playing with him because he as a human was winning and so it's not fair I don't think it's fair for m many reasons to be putting this uh, type of situation out there because we are not helping humans evolve uh we are in some aspects expecting uh to uh, have computers do things for us but then that's going to make us kind of kind of not uh, be able to do things on our own and what if the electricity electricity goes down i mean there are people nowadays 
that I'm not going to be able to add things up by themselves. You know, when you go to a cashier, it goes, go bleep, 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 bleep. They don't even have to add anything anymore. I remember my grandfather having to write things down and add things by himself. So when things go downhill and you have to add things by yourself, are we able, going to be able to manage or are we going to become cave people? So that's just food for thought. Just letting you know what's out there. And uh, do I like mittens? No. I do not like mittens for what it means and that you have to use another computer to try to beat it. And if you are a human and you are beating it, the computer is programmed to stop and make fun of you. I, I simply cannot understand that. And hopefully the joke will be on whoever created mittens, kind of you know, like a boomerang effect. Just think about what is, is what is going on in the wider world regarding AI. Thank you so much for listening. Au revoir.